Hi everyone, Randy here, and I'm going to tell you about the day that I lost thousands and thousands of bees. I remember I hadn't been a beekeeper for more than six months. I had a bee mentor that told me about mites and how detrimental mites are to, to an entire hive. And I thought to myself, it can't be that bad. It couldn't happen to, to my hive. I went the entire spring and the entire summer with two hives and everything was great. Everything was wonderful. I remember going out to the, the hive and it was maybe late fall, early winter. I opened up the hive box and they were gone, gone, gone. A bunch of dead bees all over the bottom of the hive box. There were some bees that were stuck inside a frame. They were all dead. Mites had killed the entire hive. And they were all gone because of me. Throughout that summer, I I had tested for them maybe a couple of times, but testing for mites was hard. I had learned that in order to test for mites, you had to kill about 300 bees with an alcohol wash. The way that it works is the in the alcohol wash, the mites fall down to the bottom and where you're able to, to count the mites, count how many mites versus how many bees and you can get a percentage that way. That was hard to do. It was hard to, to kill bees in order to, to test for how many mites were, were in your hive. But I had been told the entire time by other beekeepers that you kill a couple of hundred or a few hundred to save thousands. And that hadn't really sunk in until, until all of my bees were gone. Mites are these little red bugs that attach themselves to, to bees. And you can't always see them. They, they usually crawl under underneath the, the bee. They're very hidden. Usually about the time that you end up seeing a mite, it's too late. The population is already very high if you're seeing mites. Sure, like I said, I had tested for mites a couple of times and it didn't seem like that was, it was that bad. Or I thought, you know, I'm just gonna treat for mites and I'm sure that'll be fine. And so I treated with oxalic acid and I thought, oh, that should be fine. There shouldn't be any problems there. And like I said, I had only tested for mites once, maybe twice. But what I didn't do is I didn't follow the, the proper procedure to make sure that the mites were gone after, after I had treated for them with the oxalic acid. And man, did I learn my lesson. I have learned that even after you treat for mites, you should definitely test again to make sure that the mite population had gone down. I had even learned that lesson this year. This year I have three hives and one hive had a very high percentage of mites and the other two were okay. Before, earlier, during my six month beekeeping time frame, I thought, well, if one hive has a low percentage, all of the other hives will have a low percentage as well. And that couldn't be further from the truth. I treated all three hives, but that one hive still had a high percentage. And I wouldn't have known that had I not tested again for mites. And so it is very important. Beekeeping, beekeeping isn't as easy as it used to be. Mites are very detrimental to a hive. However, you can be in control and control those mites and, and ensure that, that your hive survives. Killing a few hundred bees, this may sound crazy, but speaking from previous experience here, killing a few hundred bees really does save thousands. This year I have learned my lesson. I am on top of testing for mites, I am on top of treating for mites and ensuring that that mite population is low enough so that they are able to survive the winter. And so a lot of people ask, well, or a lot of new, pe new beekeepers will ask, well, should I, should I even test for, for mites this year? 
And so really, you just have to ask yourself one question. Do you want your bees to survive the winter? Hey you guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos and I will see you all next week.